serve. Let's play pickleball. Point, point. Yeah, unsuccessful on the drop volley from Xiaomei on that first ball, but I expect him to go to that a decent amount, especially yeah. on the backhand side. He loves that shot. Point, point. Nice run around forehand, good start. This will be the last match of the day for both of these. The loser will play in bronze on Sunday, and the winner will play for. There's that short volley, but Kwong Duong effortless movement up and rolls that backhand up the line. Very nice start for him. 3 0. A uh, nightmare for Jaume. Yeah, short. Uh, three of the four returns have gone to the middle of the court, uh, which is a, a very reasonable strategy, but you have to pair uh, up the middle of the court with some depth. If it's too short against a player like Kwong, you're going to be in trouble. Wow, again, off the tape, but he was beaten anyway, Adam. Yeah, that, that uh, definitely odds were in Kwong Duong's favor uh, in that point. And, I mean, just a, a fantastic start uh, against a very quality opponent in Xiaome Martinez, Vic. Point, point. Yeah, boy, at what point do you call timeout and you haven't even touched the ball? Was that a drop shot return? That was. That was on purpose, Dave. Yeah. I know it did not clear the net, but we don't see something Six, like zero, that very zero. often at all. Point, My point. goodness, lucky seven in a row. Jaume has not served yet. Yeah, he's got to take a, a bigger crack on the return. He's just kind of guiding it and pushing it into play right now. And with seven, someone zero, zero. with the ground stroke capability of Duong, that is not going to get it done. Side out. Let's that go. So, my goodness, Jaume is somebody that uh, will get the fans behind him if he just does does get one here. So let's see if he can get rolling. Side out. Just too good from Duong. And I mean, this is a guy that has been on the precipice, Adam. And we love his game. You mentioned this, the ground strokes and the physicality. We can see, I mean, sometimes you beat the one seed and you, you gave everything and you yeah. got nothing left. Sometimes that you just keep rolling through the draw. And early on, uh, <laughs> that's exactly what's happening is the ladder for Kwong Duong. I mean, impressive to get to it, but uh, trouble. And there's a nice drop shot. He uses the whole court. And, you know, sometimes it's just too good on the other side and Duong off to a rampage of a start. Uh, that's pretty. Yeah, uh, mid pace, just casual forehand <laughs> roll. Uh, no chance for Kwong Duong uh, to come up with that first volley. Nice shot from Xiaomei. See if he can keep it going. Man, what an angle from Kwong Duong there, because Zhao Mei's lateral movement is terrific. Yeah, very good. And that's uh, part of uh, Duong's game that has uh, been progressing. Always had the ground strokes. Now some of the, the rolls from the kitchen and, and some of those nuanced shots that I was talking about with Donald Young earlier. Side out. Much better return from Zhao Mei, so gets the depth, so. It is best two out of three here in the semi. That gold medal, you can taste it, but uh, when you are down this big, you got to find your best in a hurry. That's a little wide there. Two eight. And it is Duong who actually ends up taking. Welcome back, everybody. Kwong Duong looking so impressive to start here, but he is the one that called timeout as Zhao Mei's caught a little bit of fire. Side out. 
Yeah, nice roll out of the air from Quang Duong. And I love to talk about uh, Zhao Mei's smoothness out there, but I think occasionally he gets a little too cute mm -hmm. and doesn't always have a full purpose for his shots. Too good there. Those did have a purpose yes. with the nice drop volley. And the, the man's rope and ground strokes and, and just ripping through the court. Bring him forward, force him into some cat and mouse and some uncomfortable positions. I like that from Xiaomi. Oh, man, that's one he usually makes. And one he has to make here, down 3-8. Yeah, it is interesting that there was a seven-point run, no timeout. And then, <laughs> yes. and then, then yes. uh, Duong had eight, uh, three quick ones for Xiaomi, and he's stopping play. All these players have different strategies on when to use those timeouts. Oh, went for an unbelievable angle, but came up. Just actually got there in plenty of time and pulled it too far. Jalme was in jail, just <laughs> pushed it. Wow, well done there, because Jaume tried the no look and it did not work. Yeah, the head fake, the shoulder fake, he tried it all, but Quang Duong was not fooled. Eight, three. Eight, three. Look at the wind hold this in. Side out. And then Duong hits it deep. So a good understanding of the fact that Duong's like, that's out. And then he realized, oh, no, I'm in trouble. Yeah, full 360 in the middle of that point. Unfortunate break. But Xiaomi needed that one. Xiaomi just can't get the ball to bounce. Yeah, that was a great return from Quang Duong. And I still like those rolls and, and drops from third shots from Jaume Martinez Vic with, with how quality the ground stroke has been from his opponent. But you got to get him down, Dave. Just like you said, eight, three, eight, three. strategy is one thing, but you got to pair that with execution. Not there for Jaume early. Short return just steps into it and cracks it. So he's stuck at eight for a minute there, got out of it. That's textbook. And Jalme's luring in him into what he thinks is a trap, but the kid's so quick. Yeah, it's it's been 50-50 at best for Jalme when he's bringing him forward. And of course, after that hot start, 50-50 is not going to get it done. Here we go, game point for Kwong Duong. Oh my goodness, Kwong Duong on the deck. When the world sleeps, greatness rises. Training rigorously and pushing boundaries. The next level isn't just hand to you. It's earned. Go next level. The 6 0 pickleball. Here for Donald Young. Uh, really good stuff. Point. That's two points. Looks just, yeah. <laughs> so Jaume just said I get two points because the return was out and I hit a <laughs> and I hit a forehand passing shot. One, zero, zero. So Jaume thinks it's two zip here. Oh, in essence, he got exactly what he saw. He sees the future. Yes, he does. And uh, lighthearted even after that lopsided game one. And not surprised. Yes. And that helps him. Side out. Yeah, so good from that low position to roll it up the line from Kwong Duong on the two-handed backhand, all the spots. Zero, one of my famous lines or favorite lines. So tough to handle it and get anticipation when they can go everywhere. And, and it's like he heard you. He just said, I called the spot. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so he's talking to somebody. I don't, I don't know who it is, but he's talking to somebody out there, maybe himself. And he stayed back. We'll keep an eye on that.
I mean, his touch. Oh, look at the end of that, too. Just a little, little waggle of the wrist. Oh, man, that was nasty. You don't see a lot of bite or that much bite on a slice shot in pickleball. I mean, it's the Masters. You just got to throw that backspin up against the pin. Yeah, just a little pitching wedge, you know, from 100 yards. My goodness. So much better start here for Jaume. And this is what we like to see with with the the people that are trying to get to a final and get a goal. The opportunity is there. Duong played great in game one. Can he keep it going? So Jaume is choosing to counter punch here. Yeah, and he's throwing his hands up multiple times early in game two. And, and side's a factor. I mean, uh, the 10 ground stroke winners helped Duong in game one, but possibly the side could have been a factor uh, as well. Wow. Full splits, he's still in it. Oh, <laughs> he was cheering for that to go deep. And the, the trajectory of the ball on camera made it look yes. like it was going to go out, but just drops inside. I, I don't know. How, the splits to a get, I, I, I can't imagine either one of those. No, really. we would be calling ER right now <laughs> if it was me out there, and it would be a lengthy procedure <laughs> that a stretcher would have been necessary. Man, these athletes are awesome. Just corner pocket beautifully up the line from Huang Duong. But yes, Jaume Martinez, he is mixing up his strategy early in game two. Like to see those adjustments. Side out. Yeah, hit the corner pocket as I mentioned one point ago. Very then, similar stroke as this one goes about two feet long. Yep, that was the uh, the old scratch. Right out. Right out. Yeah, the, I mean I just love it. I mean that's a that's a short hop ground stroke charging forward. Yes. <laughs> and I know he didn't make it, but you're gonna see a wide variety of shots from that man. You just witnessed the longest rally from the baseline in 2024 in men's pro pickleball. I agree completely. I think that might have been around 12 to 15 shots. Both back, Kwong Duong decides to come forward and he, first, and he was rewarded. Two, three, but three. Yes, interesting patterns early in game two. Point. Point. Because yeah, Jaume is like, I want to counter punch, and you are not coming forward to give me that opportunity. Three, three, three. Point. Just deep again from Jaume. So that early lead is gone. Nice response from Duong. Sixties from Jaume. Yeah, and, and as I said, I like Jaume uh, kind of tinkering and trying to figure out. But I think Huang Duong is insanely comfortable from the back of the court, just wailing away. So you have to be careful uh, mixing in that different strategy with this kind of player. I haven't called the score yet. Oh. Dead ball. It's a reserve. It's a dead ball. And on that, okay, dead ball reserve. And on that previous point too, Jaume again. Bunting the ball short in the court and bringing Kwong forward. And when he has done that, Kwong has had a pretty five, dang five, good three. response. Wow, the wind gust. 
And the gust plus the propulsion off the tape there, Adam. Nothing Jaume could do, and Duong is on a roll here in game two. Jaume even went with the forehand slice in the middle of that point. Not a shot that happens too frequently in pickleball. It's a nice Six job by eight. Duong. He got passed a couple times. He said, I'll just happily sit back here at the baseline. Point. I mean, at this point. Yeah, it was. Jaume was throwing his hands up early in the game because he liked what yeah, was going exactly. on. Just keep doing that. And now the complete opposite as Duong is on a run. Oh, you missed? Right out <laughs> Jaume says, oh, you missed. <laughs> Duong has been very clean in this match, and that's why he has a commanding lead. <laughs> the hands are positive again. When the world sleeps, greatness rises. And while others dream of the next level, we chase it. Challenging every limit. Turning obstacles into stepping stones. Because the next level isn't just handed to you. It's earned. Go next level with 6-0 Pickleball. Exactly. So, gets the quick timeout. Side out. Boy, and about four of those two inches deep on the baseline. Same shot. I mean, just really heavy, uh, a lot of shape and net clearance with heavy spin. He just can't bring them in. Wow, Jaume went with the fake and got the ball exactly where he wanted, but didn't, just didn't pop the volley. Yeah, not quite enough. And once an opponent that athletic, you got to hit it clean or you're going to be in trouble. Three points away from playing for a title. Another one in almost the exact location. That looked that looked closer for where I was. The others were clear. I'm not saying that wasn't out, but it Yeah, I was I was confused for half a second. And yep. I think that's a good call. Same spot yep. again. Yep. Wow, and that thing just exploded off the ground, and Kwong Duong has a ticket to championship Sunday on his paddle. Yeah, there really is a jet stream over into that backhand corner of Zhao Mei. And that will do it. Kwong Duong, welcome to Sunday. What a run today for the youngster. Convincing, wonderful ball striking, nice little adjustments. Well, you're heading to Championship Sunday, and you've absolutely breezed through these matches today. You are absolutely on point. Everything seems to be working. How are you feeling out there, and what do you think of your performance today? Um, I think was my performance today was um, all right. Uh, for me, breezing through the draw, uh, that, that wasn't exactly the case. Uh, I just got lucky a couple of shots. I mean, the win was really bad like half an hour, 20 minutes ago. Uh, but yeah, all my opponents today was like extremely tough. Um, then the score seemed, I think the score because only like two set, but uh, there's a lot of side in set out, so yeah. Well, prior to you, I think everyone would have said a Western grip can't work in pickleball, but you have absolutely proven them wrong. How did you engineer such a shot and stroke? Um, uh, because, well, my Western uh, grip, I guess I'm used to playing with a mini racket because I play like ping pong, padel, pickleball, well, well pickleball is like right now, but uh, power tennis, and I've been using the, um, the Western grip. So 
just when I switch over to pickleball, holding like a mini racket, uh, it was pretty natural for me. Well, you're heading to Championship Sunday. It will be your first Championship Sunday as well as your first medal on the PPA Tour. It'll be either a silver or a gold. We wait to find out how proud of, are you of your performance so far and what you want to do on Sunday. Uh, so far, if I think my dad's probably going to give me like a B plus today. Um, there's some there's some things I'm going to work on for Monday, for Sunday. Probably be back here early morning tomorrow working some for Sunday. But yeah, uh, I guess I play okay for today. Well, a B plus was certainly enough for you today. Congratulations, you played so well, Dave. <laughs> well, I don't know who the.